Bonjour, Genial Engineers. Today, I want to discuss something with you guys that a lot of my students ask me, which is why, when, and which FE should I take? See, when I was in college, I didn't hear about the FE till in my second year. And I was like, why do I have to take this test? Or when should I take it? Or which FE should I take? It turns out there was more than one FE. And so I was quite lost for a while. And so I want to share this video with you guys and I want to tell you how I answered those questions and hopefully it can help you decide when and which FE you should take. So before we start though, don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay, so question number one, why do you need to take the FE? So the FE stands for fundamentals of engineering. It's also known as EIT, which is engineer in training. So they're the same exact exams. And I think it just recently they, the NCES changed it to FE. So the FE is really a prerequisite for the PE. PE is a professional licensed engineer. So if you think you will be taking your PE in a couple years from now, then I would recommend you take your FE. Now, here's the thing. Now you're going to tell me, um, well, how would I know I need the PE? So a lot of people take the PE so that they can advance in their careers. And I think I found that a lot of civil engineers kind of have to take their PE if they want to advance uh, or further their careers. If you think you might, you know, need to take the PE in a couple of years from now, just remi to remind you, you can't take the PE till you get at least a minimum of two years experience or one year experience if you have your master's. So, but if you think that's the path that you might take, then if there is just a little bit of doubt there, I would recommend that you take your FE now because then, you know, if you take it in two years, you're gonna forget all these classes and it's gonna be really hard to like, kind of review all these courses. So while the material is still fresh in your mind, I would recommend that you take it either in your fourth year or in your, um, after you graduate, we'll talk a little bit about when you should take it, but that's just uh, what I think why you need to take your FE. Question number two, when should you take the FE? So a lot of professors would recommend that you take your FE in your third year because you just took strength of materials and statics, the material is so fresh in your mind, but I don't necessarily agree with that and here's why. So when I first started looking into the FE, I visited their website, NCES, and under each FE exam they use, that they offer, they give you specifications. And in those specifications, they really just go over all the material that will be covered in your exam. And so when I first looked at it, I was, I believe I was in my third year, I was like, I like a lot of these subjects I haven't covered yet and I won't be covering till in my senior year. So for a while I was like, should I take it now? Should I wait till I take them? As for those who know me, I am a civil engineer student. So we don't usually take steel, reinforced concrete, foundation, soil mechanics till like in our senior year. And actually it's a big chunk of the exam. So to me, it, just, it didn't make sense to take it right then when I still haven't covered those classes in my college. However, I know a lot of students who took it in their third year, in fourth year, and they passed. And I know some students who didn't. And that is okay. All I'm saying is that know who you are. If you're good at taking tests, if you're comfortable, if you're confident enough to take this test, that's awesome. I wish you luck and go for it. Do it. But if you're not sure and you're feeling pressured because like, you know, your classmates took it and they did well and your professors are like, how come you haven't taken it yet? I would just try to block those thoughts and just, you know, if you're not comfortable with it, then, you know, that's fine as well. Don't take it right now. Wait till you're done with your college classes and then study for a month after that. And then you can just, you know, go and take it. Remember, some people are good at multitasking and some people are not. I like to focus at one thing at a time. If I'm going to college, I want to focus on that. I want to give it my 100%. I want to understand the material really well and I want to do well in my classes. I don't want to be distracted or worried about this FE. You know, 
the iffy is not going anywhere you can always take it anytime you want once you graduate or once i graduated then i, I took my iffy so decide and do whatever you are comfortable with that's my advice to you question number three which fe should you take so one of my professors recommended that i take the fe other disciplines which is also known as fe general and um so i did a little bit of research i checked out the specifications on the nces website and i looked into fe general and fe civil and i started comparing the two so a lot of materials that are covered in both exams are similar but there are a lot of materials that that we civil engineers don't really learn in college like heat transfer and control system and so to me that didn't make sense why should i take the fe general when fe civil covers all the material that i learned in college uh, a lot of people would argue and say because fe general is easier I don't necessarily agree with that. I think FE Civil was easier for me because I'm a civil engineer student and all those classes I took in college. So the exam was just a review of all those classes. So so really um, check out those specifications um, and you can decide from there and then see which classes you, you took and which you haven't. Also, if you're planning on taking the PE, you kind of have an idea which PE you're going to take, right? Either is a PE mechanical or PE electrical or PE civil. I do, and I think that should help you kind of decide which FE you should take. Also, I know I mentioned a lot about the specifications on the NCS website. And if you're interested and you want to learn more about it, you should check out my other video where I talk about all the things you need to know before you take your FE. It's really going to help you and give you like like an understanding about what this exam is about. I hope this video helped you decide when and which FE you should take. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to share this video with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.